AFM scanning in fluid allows researchers to image biological samples in their natural environment. The structure of cell walls or DNA strands can be scanned in fluid solutions that duplicate the chemical surroundings of biological materials found in nature. Fluid imaging also allows researchers the opportunity to observe the surface changes taking place on samples during electrochemical reactions. Some samples demonstrate significant adhesion in air because of surface forces, and imaging in fluid will eliminate those forces. The apparent position of the probe and the path of the laser will be altered by the phase change from an air to liquid environment. This phenomenon is a result of the change in refractive index, which is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to the speed of light in a different medium. All three primary imaging modes, contact, tapping, and scan assist, can work in fluid. Contact mode is not used as often because it is heavily influenced by shear forces. Previously, tapping mode was the dominant mode used in fluid imaging, but tuning the cantilever in fluid can be difficult because the liquid inhibits the free motion of the cantilever. Peak force tapping mode is an intermittent contact mode that eliminates the shear force problem. Imaging in fluid requires a probe holder designed to contain a liquid environment and a sample. The multimode fluid cell is shown here. These are the contents of the liquid imaging kit. The scan assist liquid probes are shown here. Press the tension spring against a hard surface to raise the clip. Use a pair of tweezers to lift the probe from the gel surface in the package and place it into the probe carrier. Place the probe into the center of the holder channel and allow it to slide toward the back. Place the probe carrier into the multi-mode head by inserting the carrier into the kinematic mount and then turning the clamping screw to lower the locking clamp onto the probe carrier. At this point, it may be useful to perform a preliminary alignment of the laser using the shadow method to find the probe. Then place the sample disc onto the scanner's magnetic mount. Place the head onto the scanner body and attach the two tension springs. Start the nanoscope software. Select Scan Assist Mode from the Experiment category and Scan Assist in Fluid from the Experiment group. The optical microscope camera can be used to view the probe. Use the optical microscope's position knobs to focus the camera onto the probe and the sample surface to make sure they are within normal approach distance. Adjust the laser positioning knobs to center the laser spot onto the probe. Watch the sum value on the LCD display to observe when the value increases. Rotate the detector position knobs on the top left and rear of the head to center the vertical and horizontal signals as close to zero as possible. The first common method of sample preparation involves placing a drop of fluid on the sample surface and the probe carrier and bringing the two drops together to fill the void inside the probe carrier cell. Remove the probe carrier from the head. Add enough liquid to the sample surface to create a large droplet in the center of the mount. Use the motor control to raise the head away from the sample and scanner surface. This will allow room for the carrier cell to fit in place with a droplet suspended from the probe. Deposit enough liquid over the probe carrier to cover the probe. Put the carrier back into the head and secure it in place. Lower the head back down until the fluid droplets merge together.
The second method of preparation utilizes the syringe and rubber tubing to inject fluid into the cell while it rests on the sample surface. The sample disc must be wider than the diameter of the rubber seal that holds the fluid under the probe. Be sure to examine the sample disc to make sure that it will cover the seal. Push the rubber seal into the circular depression surrounding the probe using tweezers. The flexibility of the seal may require two hands and two sets of tweezers to place the seal entirely into the groove. The seal can be inserted before or after the probe is loaded. Place the probe carrier into the multi-mode head by inserting the carrier into the kinematic mount and then turning the clamping screw to lower the locking clamp onto the probe carrier. Insert a lure fitting into the drain port. Attach the syringe to the inlet section of tubing and fill it with the liquid solution. Insert the lure fitting into the inlet port. Use the motor manual switch to lower the head down to bring the rubber seal into contact with the sample. Take care to leave sufficient space between the probe and the sample surface. Inject the liquid into the cell until the fluid level fills the cell and drains away from the exit port. The liquid environment will alter the focal point of the probe. Refocus the probe image using the camera optics focus knobs. Reposition the laser onto the probe with the adjustment knobs. Realign the horizontal and vertical signal using the detector position knobs. Check the engage settings from the microscope pull down menu to make sure they are normal. Verify that the scan parameters are normal and initiate the engage sequence. After the tip engages the sample, optimize the scan parameters as needed and begin the image acquisition. Adjusting the scan assist individual parameters may provide some additional improvement in the image, but this step is optional. Auto mode is perfectly acceptable for most samples. Select the desired data channels to display the sample surface features and allow the scans to complete. 